LinkedIn asking, hello, Prashanti, good morning. Uh, I am a software developer. As per the current market scenario, most of the companies are not sponsoring the candidates. Is it better to move to H4 EAD or stay in H1B visa? And is there any foreseen uh, risk to move to H4 EAD? Uh, sorry, it's not showing complete from H1B. So benefits of H1B over H4 EAD. That's what she wants to know. So mm -hmm. both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Um, the advantage, I mean, you know, the advantage of the H1 is it's easy to file for a transfer or an extension. The time period is short to get a H1. You can file premium processing, so you could possibly transfer uh, and you can work while the petition is still pending. So it's easier for you to um, move from one employer to another or to extend. I think I should say more uh, extend your H1 rather than extending your H4 EAD because the H4 EAD takes longer to extend. The processing time is 12 months, um, you know, eight, eight to 12 months, while a processing time for a H1 extension, uh, if you do premium processing is 30 days. So that's the biggest advantage of the H1 over the H4 EAD. But of course, if you extend your H4 and H4 EAD along with your spouse's H1, then you're looking at the same processing time. So then there is no real advantage uh, of being on a H1. The only advantage is the processing time. The advantage of the H4 is there's no prevailing wage. So you don't have to worry about paying, you know, the prevailing wage determined by the Department of Labor. Um, there are no rules and regulations pertaining to H4 EAD. You just have to have an EAD approval. But for a H1, there are many loops that you have to go through. Uh, you know, the employer has to go through. They have to uh, file an LCA. They have to make sure they're paying the wage as per the LCA. If They have to stay at the work location. If they're not at that same work location as per the LCA, approved LCA, then they have to file an amendment. They are constant FDNS visits and audits to ensure that you're following the law. So there are all these things that can be avoided if you're on a H4 EAD. So I would say, except for the processing time issue, a H4 EAD is, um, and also it's, it allows you to, H4 EAD allows you to work for any employer at a drop of a hat. You can leave one employer and join another employer. You don't need to notify USCIS. You don't, don't need to file a transfer like you have to on a H, H1. So H1, obviously right. that gives you much more flexibility on a H4 EAD. So I would say H4 EAD is better, except for the processing mm -hmm. time issue. Cool. And a so, H4 EAD, unfortunately, is given only for one year at a time. So you have to, oh. you know, um, the EAD is given for a year. The H4 is given for three years. So, you know, you'd have to keep renewing it. So, you know, that's the only thing. Um, if you have the... EAD for three years, then you don't have to worry so much about the re the renewal part. But if it's given only for a year, then you have to constantly worry about when to you know file for the extension. So that that's the only advantage for the H four EAD. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos if you like what you see. Also give us a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Thank you.